So now we're going to use Jefferson's method to apportion 41 seats in Delaware. Now it starts out the same way. We calculate the divisor just like we did with Hamilton's method, uh, and we divide each population by the divisor to get a quota, and then chop off the decimal parts to get an initial allocation. Now in this case, the you'll notice that we haven't allocated all the seats. So to adjust for that, we're going to use a different approach than Hamilton used. Instead of adjusting uh, based on these quota results, we're going to change the divisor. So in order to get more allocated, we're going to need to lower the divisor. So we're going to change the divisor, new divisor, and we could pick anything we want that's smaller. Um, let's go ahead and try 21,500. So if we do that, then our quotas are all going to change, right? Because now we're going to take 162,310 and divide it by this new adjusted uh, quota. And so this becomes 7.5493 now. This becomes 25.0455, and this becomes 9.1695. Uh, and now, now when we chop these down to the, uh, to their whole parts, now they actually add up to 41, and we have ourselves an allocation. Uh, and at this point, we are done. Now, if it hadn't come out right, we would just adjust our divisor again, either up or down, uh, until we got the right results. Now, it's worth noting here that Newcastle's quota changed quite a bit, while, for example, Kent's quota didn't change much. Uh, so the largest county ended up getting the biggest benefit uh, out of this particular adjustment.